How's it going guys? I'm Soul Survivor 6 when I'm coming back at you with another video. Today we are going to be doing a review of the Nike Sakai Waffles. Alright guys, so this is a pair that I've had for a little while now. I've been kind of reluctant to do a review of it because I haven't actually really worn it around, but I've worn it for shoots, I've had it on foot, I know what it feels like, uh, so I'm going to give my honest review. It starts off, it looks like it would be any normal orange Nike box, but they actually added a little bit of flair to it. So the top, you have the Nike with the swoosh, and it's kind of like clear, and then on the sides, it spells out Nike, and then you have your little size tag thing right there. So we open her up. These are the shoes. Uh, as you can see, we're probably here. There's a StockX tag on these. These were bought from StockX. Extra black laces that come with the shoes. And then you kind of just get your normal white uh, wrapping paper. So this shoe, I'm still kind of torn over. Part of me really, really likes this shoe and part of me just kind of doesn't like this shoe. It is definitely my favorite color out of all the Sakai waffles that came out. When I saw pictures of it on like nice kicks and everything a while back, I knew I had to get them like immediately. My only issue with this shoe was like, if you pay resale for it, resale is crazy. Resale, last time I checked, is like at least 500, probably more. So it's, you're paying a lot of money for this shoe. And like, it's not that the quality is bad, it's just that it uses flimsy materials, if that makes sense. The whole top of this shoe is like this mesh. And it's not that it's a bad material mesh, it's just, it's super thin. It's literally just mesh, all, all this light green stuff that you see. So there's a really high chance that it's gonna like tear. You'll just run through it. That's kind of my only concern with them really. Let's start with the review of the shoe. I'm gonna work my way from the bottom to the top and give you guys all my thoughts and opinions. So when we start at the bottom of the shoe, you'll just see this really, really thick black rubber outsole. Kind of just sticks with the vibes of like the OG Waffle Runner. It really doesn't, it looks really minimalistic. I'll say that. It looks really minimalistic. It looks like it was actually made out of like a waffle iron. The tread is really, really thick, which I like. And then when you move up a little bit, you have like that crazy like double decker two inch midsole. So it is a foam kind of material. You can kind of squish it in with your fingers. And the one thing I really don't like about that is when you wear this, the little like bumps on the bottom or, you know, where the tread sticks out, it actually pushes up into the, um, the midsole. And it just makes it look really, really goofy when you're just standing there doing nothing. When you're walking, you're fine. But when you're just standing there, I feel like it makes the shoe look a little weird. I honestly really, really love the outsole. I love the fact that it just looks like two shoes were kind of just like thrown together. I think it's a pretty unique concept. Again, moving up even more, we'll talk about the materials used for the mud guard and the heel guard. It looks like it would be the same, but it's not. We'll start with the heel guard. The heel guard is, I don't even know what to say. I think I would probably consider it new book, but it's really, really sturdy. I, when I first got this, looking at the material, I thought it was gonna be kind of a flimsy, like backbone to the shoe, but it almost feels like plastic. Like you're not gonna be able to really wiggle your foot in there. You're gonna have to untie these and put your foot in. But when we move to the front with the mud guard, it is this suede. It's actually a very nice material. The yellow is a very nice material suede. Um, it moves back and forth with your finger, which I love um, with suede on sneakers as you guys can see. The green that's right above it is kind of the same material as the heel tab. It's just this really short hair new buck. That's really all I can say about it. And it goes for the same thing around the eyelets up here. So when we move up even further to the swooshes, I actually think the swooshes are surprisingly good when it comes to the materials used. It's this pretty thin leather. It feels pretty thin, but it's very buttery. Like when you move your finger around with it, the swoosh moves back and forth with you. It doesn't feel like plastic. Um, and both swooshes are like that too. And I just love the way that the orange overlaps the black. I think it looks really, really sick. And then you can go up even more and then you'll see you have your double shoelaces. Uh, I kept the gray and the white shoelaces in. I really, really think it looks cool. Um, I don't know how they laced two pairs of laces up. I don't think I could do that, but whoever made these shoes did a good job. And then when you go up even further and you see the tongue, the two tongues are actually like kind of separated for halfway down. They look really, really dope layered up. So as I was saying earlier with the mesh material, it's not that it's bad. I mean, you, there's perks to it, obviously. It's definitely a super breathable shoe, pretty lightweight shoe, but 
it is kind of awkward to walk on. You, you, you feel like you're kind of walking on high heels a little bit. For those of you that wear like Air Max 95s, I get that same vibe with this shoe. Super, super cool looking shoe. Definitely deserves a hype. I just don't know if it deserves like the $500, $600 price tag behind it. All right, now that I've given you guys a review of this shoe, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna give you guys an on foot look at these. So you can see what they look like on feet. You can kind of see what I'm talking about when I say they look a little weird. And most importantly, hopefully, you'll be able to see how the little pieces of tread that stick out on the bottom kind of jut up into the midsole when you're just standing there. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, any little thing helps the channel. I'll be getting more videos out to you guys soon. And as always, thank you guys for watching.